Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Inspired Wellness Tucson. As you know, I'm not only a holistic health coach, but a brain health coach. And so I love sharing resources with people that are real game changers when it comes to managing mood, issues like depression and ADD. Absolutely love help pe helping people figure out how to relieve those symptoms. So that's why I want to introduce you to a life-changing book called The Mood Cure by Julia Ross. So this book I love because it's a really multifaceted approach. Um, she calls it a four-step program to really balance your emotions um, instead of just trying to slap a band-aid on the problem. So typically, the standard of care in America is that we prescribe SSRIs for depression. Now, SSRIs are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, which means they control how quickly the body kind of reabsorbs serotonin and that your levels would go down. The problem is if you don't make enough serotonin in the first place, controlling the reuptake may not be enough to actually lift your mood and get you to a more functional, stable place. So um, a lot of the time when people take SSRIs like Prozac, Zoloft, Paxil, Celexa, that kind of thing, they may find that they just feel not quite right. They don't feel like themselves. And if they take them for a long time and aren't responding favorably, one of the common issues is that they'll be experiencing more anxiety, more issues with sleep, maybe muscle cramps, all sort of um, seemingly mysterious symptoms. But one of the side effects of SSRIs is that they make our bodies run through much faster uh, B vitamins and magnesium. Well, we need all the B vitamins and magnesium for nervous system health. So, um, if you're depleting your B vitamins and magnesium and you're not supplementing them, that's going to lead to not being able to produce serotonin, not being able to produce dopamine, not being able to produce enough melatonin to fall asleep, not being able to produce enough GABA to feel calm and be able to sleep, things like that. So this book, this approach is really about fortifying your body, giving it the raw materials that it needs to create the neurotransmitters that you need to feel right. So neurotransmitters, uh, for example, would include serotonin and dopamine and GABA and acetylcholine. Um, and the precursors for serotonin, we're looking at L-tryptophan and also 5-HTP is another form. For dopamine, L-tyrosine is a really important precursor. Um, and those amino acids are found in protein foods like meat, and nuts and seeds and things like that, but they're found much, much higher in animal proteins. Um, so she goes over kind of the nutritional element of where to get those aminos, but then to also supplement like 5-HTP to boost your serotonin or L-tyrosine to boost your dopamine. There's a real method to how she goes over it. So what I love is that she offers these little quizzes where you can figure out which neurotransmitters are causing you problems because it's not always just serotonin that's responsible for depression. Um, you can easily have that kind of flat, I don't care about anything that I used to love sort of feeling if you don't make enough GABA. Um, you can feel really hugely lack of motivation if you don't have enough dopamine. So to really analyze the complicated balance of neurotransmitters. This is a great book just to kind of give you a foundation of understanding how do you really naturally boost your ability to create feel-good chemicals in your brain so that you're not taking medication forever. The good news with the amino acids is that they're simple nutritional supplements. You don't need a prescription for them. You can buy them over the counter. They're, they're relatively inexpensive. I'm talking like 15 bucks for a bottle way cheaper than a doctor's appointment and a prescription medication. Um, and the wonderful thing too is that since they're not medications, you don't have to be on them forever um, or it's you know easier to get off of them. If you stop taking an amino acid, usually within a day or two, you go right back to how you felt before you were taking it. Whereas if you're taking something like Prozac, it can take a good six weeks to build your levels up in your body and then you may need to titrate down to get off the medication instead of just stopping taking it. So um, obviously she goes into way more detail in hundreds of pages, uh, over 300 pages than I can go into in a five minute video, but just wanna get this on your radar. The Mood Cure, check it out if you don't respond well to SSRIs.